Okay, one more example of the of finding values of arc sine and arc cosine and arc tangent. I'm going to start by drawing a unit circle. And let me graph the angle that we're going to start with. 4 pi over 3, well, there's 0, pi over 2, pi, 3 pi over 2, and 2 pi. So 4 pi over 3 is down here. There's 4 pi over 3. It's uh, between pi and 3 pi over 2. We want to find, now sine of 4 pi over 3 is the y coordinate. Remember, arc sine is always between negative pi over 2 and pi over 2. So negative pi over 2 is at the same place as 3 pi over 2. So when we want to find arc sine of sine of 4 pi over 3, we want to find an angle in that range that has the same sine as 4 pi over 3. So sine is the y coordinate. Let me keep the y coordinate fixed and I'll go over and I'll find a point over here. That's negative pi over 3. So arc sine of sine of 4 pi over 3 an angle that has the same sign as 4 pi over 3 is negative pi over 3. Make that negative sign a little clearer. So we've solved the first one. Next one is arc cosine of the cosine of negative pi over 4. Well, there's negative pi over 4 down there, negative pi over 4. We want to find an angle that has the same cosine, but our cosine, remember, is always between 0 and pi. It's always in the first two quadrants. So we want to find an angle in the first two quadrants that has the same cosine as negative pi over 4. Well, cosine is the x value. So we're keeping the x value constant, and I'm moving up to find an angle in the first two quadrants. There it is at pi over 4. So our cosine of the cosine of negative pi over 4 is pi over 4. And finally, we have arc tangent of the tangent of 7 pi over 6. 7 pi over 6 is just bigger than pi. There it is down there, 7 pi over 6. And we want to find an angle that has the same tangent as that. Well, remember with tangent, if we reflect across the origin, we'll get an angle that has the same sine and the same cosine except one, they've, they've switched from being negative to being positive. But they've both switched, which means tangent, sine over cosine, will actually end up the same. So this angle, it's pi over 6, will have the same tangent as 7 pi over 6. And that's good because arc tangent is forced to be between negative pi over 2 and pi over 2. So we've got this angle pi over 6 that has the same tangent as what we were looking for, 7 pi over 6. So the key to solving that problem is to take each one of these angles and find them on the unit circle, and then figure out what the range of our function is that we're looking for. Arc tangent between negative pi over 2 and pi over 2, arc sine in the same range, 
and our cosine a little different between 0 and pi. Then we try to find an angle within that range that has the same sine, cosine, or tangent as the angle that we started with. And so that's why I've drawn these little dotted lines here on the unit circle. I'm trying to find angles with the same cosines or same sines or the same tangents as what we started with. And that's what gave us our answers, negative pi over 3, pi over 4, and pi over 6. Those are angles that have the same sine, cosine, and tangent as the ones we were given. So that's our first lecture on inverse trigonometric functions. These are the trigonometry lectures for educator.com.